Hello Techheads, this is Josh with Techtopia TV and I'm coming back at you with another video. This time it's going to be the NZXT CAM software, that's C-A-M. Now this software in particular is, um, I know, I I first seen it whenever NZXT Hue Plus, which is like their LED lighting strips that's fully RGB and you can control it and make all crazy things with it. But I first saw this software when uh, those videos came out, so I decided to give it a try. It's a, it's a full monitoring software. I mean, it monitors literally everything on your computer. It's crazy. So. Uh, you can customize the banner, so of course, you know, I put the Techtopia TV thing up there, why not, you know? Um, now, I'm just going to go over, you know, a lot of the basics and just kind of the layout of everything. So here's like the more simplified uh, view that you get. This is the basic view, so it shows, you know, your, your, your CPU type, your GPU, the RAM that you have, how much is being used, the load, your different drives that you have, and then down here it tells you what is using the most RAM. So right now, OBS, of course, which is what I'm using to record this video, is using the most RAM, which that's to be expected. So you can see the temperatures, uh, the load on your CPU, um, the load and the temp of your GPU, and all of that. So um, this is like just like the, the basic dashboard. Then you can go to advanced, and when you switch over to advanced, now you can see that there is even more you know more information displayed so now you can go piece by piece by piece through your actual system to see different stats throughout so i have a six core processor being the 5820k so i mean you can see all the way up to core six so you have one two three four five six shows the temperature for each one the load from each one um, again cpu load obs is the highest because that's what i'm using to record this right now uh, core clock, I have it at 4.4 gigahertz, uh, voltage 1.3 volts, and then the fan RPM. Um, so it lets you know all of that stuff. Um, down here I have the GPU, which tells you the, the core clock, memory clock, um, memory load, and the fan RPM, which it's barely working because it doesn't need to right now because I'm not really using it, so it's staying nice and cool. So <clears throat> then you can, so you have two different pan, or, um, panes here that you can look at. So you can leave CPU up here and then down here you can switch to motherboard, shows you the motherboard temperatures of all the, you know, the DRAM and all that kind of stuff. Then you can go to the RAM, then you can go to the hard drives, shows you raw read error rate and retired block count. And I mean, it just shows loads of information. You can sit here and go through all of this down here. Uh, switch between the drives, so I have three drives. I have the Kingston and the Samsung SSDs, and then I have the Western Digital um, uh, one terabyte drive. So, um, tells you the power on hours, like how many hours this thing's been powered on since you owned it or since you first used it. So, it tells you a lot of information, and then they have expanded. So, expanded basically pops it out. So, that way you can see all this information in a long list, okay? Um, then I noticed that if I go full screen, holy moly, loads of information. It gives you everything that you could ever ask for all in one screen. So like if you were doing something, trying to test something, trying to see what, what might be causing a problem, you could always, put, and you had like multiple monitors set up, you could always put this screen over onto another one of your monitors, play a game, use software, encode a video, whatever it is that you're doing, and then this will kind of give you a hint as to what might be causing the problem. And you can see the temperatures, you can see the load that something is being put on something else. So you can really look at a lot of stuff on here. Um, it's, it's pretty crazy. You can go uh, minute or hour or day or week. So it'll tell you what the core clocks or and all that information. FPS stats uh, for like the latest games that you just finished playing. I mean, the, I mean, it's just it's it's amazing. I mean, it really it really is insane the amount of stuff. So like games. Last night we played some Grand Theft Auto 5, so it'll tell you the duration, um, show you your minimum FPS, your average FPS, your max FPS. Uh, it also does have a uh, overlay um, that will come up um, in the top left corner. You can set it to where it'll show the resolution. You can, um, I mean, it loads of stuff. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, settings, FPS overlay. So here you go. 
Um, you can choose FPS, average FPS, resolution, memory, CPU, GPU, and effects. Effects will tell you, like, it, it gives you, like, kind of like a, an idea of what it will look like whenever you're done. Uh, so if you take away that, it'll disappear from up here. So uh, you can look at CPU and GPU temps and the load that's being put on um, certain devices and everything, as well as your FPS resolution. The effects tells you what, like if you have VSync on, what uh, anti-aliasing you're running. It'll show you all of that information. You can choose whether it's going to be top left, right, bottom left, or bottom right. Uh, shortcut keys to turn them off and on. You can change those to your liking. Change the font color. Change the font size. Change the font itself. Um, so there's loads of things that you can do with it. You can have notifications to where um, if your GPU gets to a certain temperature, a notification will pop up in the bottom right hand corner, kind of like a Steam you know, message saying that somebody is online or whatever. It'll kind of pop up like that and it will warn you, hey, you know, your CPU or GPU is hitting, a, a, you know, it's, it's about to melt. I mean, it's about to, it, it, shit's going wrong. So it'll tell you all that information and then that way you can, you know, Cancel whatever it is that you're doing, stop whatever it is that you're doing. That way you make sure you don't damage your system. You can also have it notify you with CPU fan. So if the CPU fan falls below 500 RPM, then obviously there's something wrong with the fan and your CPU is about to bite the big one. So it'll warn you with these things. I disabled the notifications because my my hard drives are pretty, uh, you know, pretty high and pretty loaded. So um, it kept on constantly popping up telling me, oh, you need to do disk cleanup. You need to do disk cleanup. I mean, it popped up probably, I don't know, 15 times in five minutes. It was really getting annoying. So I just turned it off because I'm not really that worried about that kind of stuff. Uh, here in generals where you can change the, um, the interface color, you can change the boot options, whether it boots minimize or if it boots on Windows start. Um, here you can change your banner. You can put anything you want. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then of course, you know, your account stuff. Now you have, you don't have to create an account. You don't have to give an email or log in or sign in or anything like that. You don't have to do any of that, but for the extra features like the FPS counter and all that other stuff, they do want you to register the product. So I register the product just so that way I could um, monitor that kind of stuff and use it easier for the video to get better stuff for the video. So um, anyhow, so the build, you can look at your build and this here will tell you exactly what you have. I mean, Haswell E, uh, Core i7-5820K, the max TDP, the socket type, the stock frequency, um, tells me that I have my 980 Ti, what motherboard I have, um, X99, what BIOS version it has. The BIOS was la um, last updated uh, October 16th, 2014 what kind of memory I have, what speed it's at, um, all that information. I mean, uh, uh, the drives that you have, how much is available versus how much is taken up. So, I mean, it, it, this, this, I mean, what OS you're running, it tells you just about everything. I mean, I, I, it's an amazing piece of software. And one thing I do like about it as well is that it does also have a snapshot feature. So if you click on the picture, bam, it took a snapshot of exactly what was on the screen right whenever you click the button. And you could save it to disk or you could save it to the cloud. You save it to disk, you send it off to your buddy or post it on a forum. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Look at my system. There you go. Now you have at least a, you know, a, a screenshot uh, with a timestamp of exactly what was going on at what time. Um, so it's really nice. I mean, that's a really cool feature. I mean, obviously, yeah, you can use the Windows snipping tool or any other screenshot feature or software that you might use, but the fact that they have it actually included in the software itself is already a pretty cool feature. So anyhow, um, I kind of went longer, a little bit longer than I already wanted to, but there, this thing really does do a lot. So if you had like the NZXT uh, Hue Plus and um, uh, I believe they're cooler, um, you can control all of that through this program as well. That's what it was originally for. And then all of a sudden they just came out with all this. So you can monitor your entire system from one program. And I really like it. I love the layout. I think it's really clean. Um, it's very modern and I, I just like the way that it works and it does a really good job. Um, I haven't, I didn't have any problems with it. 
And that's pretty much it. So, I mean, uh, this is the, N like I said, this is the NZXT cam software. Um, I'll put a link down in the description of where you can go to download it. And uh, that way you can test it out for yourself. And um, this has been Joshua Techtopia TV. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. And I'll see you in the next one.